what was it, Sean in Ohio, uh, had a question about uh, Google. Google, the parent company of YouTube, in the last two weeks, banned Prison Planet news stories from showing up in Google news feeds. They delisted us. And nothing changed in our servers. Nothing changed in how we send them out. They just delisted us and gave us no notice. And a lot of that's because of the TSA, obviously, and we're leading the fight on that front. And Bob Barr is now investigating uh, TSA and Homeland Security, investigating myself and Matt Drudge. That's the effect we're having here, ladies and gentlemen, because of you spreading the word. I mean, we're all doing this together. I want to continue to point that out. It is your actions that are having this effect. Then separately, we were given a community guidelines violation by YouTube, a subsidiary of Google, a few weeks ago, banning our video, Collateral Murder, that showed a short clip of the Apache helicopter killing some journalists. YouTube's official channel had the video. Russia Today, Associated Press, CBS News, I've already talked about all this. Just, just recapping for new listeners. And so we went into the community violation because if we got more of them, the site would be shut down. That one site with 75 plus million views on it and accelerating, growing faster and faster, 230 plus million views conservatively in the last two years on the other channels combined, just on YouTube, one platform we're using. That's a small part of what we do, but not inconsequential. And that's where we reach the average yuppies and young people and, and, and you know folks that are kind of sucked into the Borg hive mind. We got a notice and we, and, and we went and counterclaimed and said, this video is everywhere in its entirety. There, you know, this does not violate your community standards or you'll have to take down the Associated Press's channel. And they responded and said, you are not allowed to challenge us. We, we reviewed it. YouTube is who took your thing down. And now we're going to freeze your account for two weeks. We may even suspend it. And we, I mean, that went to our direct YouTube account. It's directly from them. Now, we put an article out about this yesterday. And we got this new message in uh, this morning. And it is deceptive as well, but they've backed off. Hi there. Listen to this. Hi there. We recently sent you a notice that we removed the following content as a terms of service violation. And they show our collateral murder video. Upon additional review, we have reinstated the material and removed any penalties that have been applied to your account. In the future, if you feel that your video does not violate our community guidelines or terms of use and was removed without just cause, you can appeal the strike on your account. To do so, please visit the following Help Center page. Uh, excuse me? We published your original email saying your counterclaim has been rejected and you filed a false counterclaim and we're going to shut your channel down. So they put the video back up. See, because we got this a day and a half ago. And normally in a few hours after the notice, because as soon as you go into your account, it tells you, we're shutting your account down, and then it gets shut down when you visit the site. It didn't happen. That's like Obama deception getting removed, and it's said removed by user. We didn't remove it. It had like 5 million views at the time. It has like 8 million on that one channel alone. Or is it 9 million? It's about to be 9 million. Guys, uh, go to YouTube and type in the Obama deception, please. Or just type in the name Obama. It's one of the first links. Uh, I forget how many it's got. I want to be technical here. I want to be exact. And that's just one version. There's over 30 million on YouTube alone and Google uh, views on that one video. And they erased it, and then we made a big protest, and they just put it back up. And they said that couldn't be done. So they're playing all sorts of games with us. And this is a psychological warfare tactic. Keep messing with us. Keep taking stuff down. Keep until you get tired of hearing about it and don't respond and protest them. And then they win. So that's all that's happening. here. But we're going to update our articles about this uh, with the Google and YouTube censorship that we've put out because this is a big victory. And uh, it's because of you going absolutely a great job. The Obama deception, one version, has 7,943,728, so right at 8 million. And they've done everything they can to take that down, but we go to their own rules and defeat them every time.
And I don't get upset every time we get jacked with or harassed or the FBI visits. I understand it. I mean, we're effective. I mean, you get in a fight and you get your nose broken. I mean, that's what happens. But I'm fighting. I'm not rolling over for these hyenas to chew my guts out. Okay? If they're going to take down our society, I'm going to go kicking and screaming. Now, we've got the article at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com dealing with the Drudge Report. Watchdog probes DHS spying on Drudge Report over TSA revolt. Look, I stood up. Matt Drudge stood up. We were focal points for all of you who were angry. And now the report by Bob Barr is they're having to look into Homeland Security spying on us. People better get angry about this. This is the new national secret police. So Google the term spying on Drudge. Let's make it number one. It should be number one in the next hour. Type it in over and over again. Spying on Drudge. PrisonPlanet.com censored. Google still censoring us out of Google News. PrisonPlanet.com censored. Let's let them know we're not rolling over, no matter how many times they try it. And also Google evil. That's another search term. And we're testing it out today. They, they, it was down for today. Google Trends. Have they done something new? Will we, will we be able to send it to number one? Or have they changed the matrix? And we'll have to figure out another way around it. We will continue to track all of this. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Sean in Ohio. Sean, you had a question concerning all of this. Did I answer your question? Uh, no, uh, it, I got something I want to add to that. You can hear me, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, if you go to the news section on Google now, you can actually search for prisonplanet.com, and it brings up prisonplanet.com. But I'm searching for spying on Matt Drudge, prisonplanet.com, and that's not bringing up anything. So they're, they're trying to do workarounds, it seems like, and make it look like. And I think you understand how people are already confused as to what they're actually no, doing. No, that's not true. It's not true. I mean, I just, I mean, guys, give, give me a video document cam shot on my big screen computer monitor here, and I will show people right now. I just type prisonplanet.com into Google News. That's the news. You type it in, click news, and it's raw story. Uh, it's straight.com. It's TSA gets probed. Concrave. Uh, it's Silver Seek. There is, look, I'm not saying that other news sites don't mention us. Our stories, prisonplanet.com, is banned from the news feed. Do you understand me? I type in prisonplanet.com without any spaces. Are you doing that? And yes. it brings up the website, but no news. For me, it's bringing up the website. Sir, you're, you're, can... sir, you're clicking web. Guys, give me a shot so I can show him right now here live on TV. Look. I'm on news right now, and none of these are prisonplanet.com. Before, they'd always be the top ones. When I click web, prisonplanet.com, it's the top link. Yes, we haven't been delisted completely from Google. We've been delisted from Google News. Boom. Watson's checked it in England. Uh, I've had Genesis in Minnesota check it. I've had folks in California check it. My dad's checked it. It's banned. I appreciate your call. I, I, I guess I'm not a good communicator. I mean, you know. It's like I put a video out saying Google sent us a letter saying they're shutting the site down for at least two weeks. No more uploads. People said the site's still there. I told you they sent me a letter. They, they, they didn't do it. They backed off. I've shown you the new letter. We're putting it on the site. And I'm telling you, you can't search it. I'm out of time, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be back tomorrow live, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Got some big guests coming up in the next few days. May even do some overdrive. And, of course, back Sundays, 4 to 6 p.m. with a live Sunday transmission. Great job with the crew. I covered a lot of key intel in the first hour. It starts restreaming at InfoWars.com right now. Don't forget the podcast. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.